Welcome to Qigong for late summer and digestion. In the Chinese medicine calendar, this period of late summer is a period of stability in the environment, and thus it is governed by the element of earth, representing stability. The earth element inside of us governs our digestion, our stomach, spleen, and pancreas, and thus we focus on these digestive organs and this earth type qi in this practice that we'll use to wring out the digestive tract, stimulate it gently, as well as bring more soothing and centering energy to our digestion and center. Let's begin with our hands folded over the lower abdomen, feet about shoulder width. Let's we'll begin with some deep abdominal breathing. Here, just let your tailbone sink, your crown of your head float up. Breathing through the nose with the lips closed, just start to feel your belly, especially your lower abdomen, move with the breath. Just take a few slow, and deep breaths. And then we're gonna move the hands up slightly to the upper abdomen. This is the region we call the earth center, sometimes known as the solar plexus. Just feel a few deep breaths here. Not looking for anything magical to happen, just really feeling the breath here, even if it's just a little bit. Sometimes there can be a little discomfort here if the liver or stomach is tender diaphragm pressing on them can be a little uncomfortable. And that's usually a good sign that we need to bring more soothing breath movement and energy here. So just feel the breath there, not really forcing. Then we're gonna slide the hands to either side of the ribs next to the solar plexus and just feel the ribs here moving gently with the breath, expanding with the inhale as the diaphragm pulls down Relaxing as the diaphragm goes back up. The diaphragm is a big part of our digestive process. We can think of not just the lungs breathing, but all the organs breathe with the diaphragm. We'll take this into a bit of movement called Buddha Holds Up the Earth. The hands are going to float down as we exhale and spiral up as we inhale. Exhale down. And inhale up. We're looking for long, slow nasal breaths here. And as usual, if these breaths feel like they're too long for you, you feel like you're holding your breath, feel free to do the movement and breath a little quicker than me. So it's called Buddha holds up the earth, but Qigong is not explicitly a religious practice in any way. The Buddhists and the Taoists and the Confucianists were all inventing their own Qigong forms in ancient China. And sometimes the names get involved. Let your left hand down, stretch over to your left, come back to the center, float the hands up and down through the center, press left hand up, right hand down, lean to your right, reach up through that left palm, back through the center, sink, and stand tall as we lean left, Pressing up with the right. So it's a nice stretch for the side waist. Opening the organs on the side of the body that's stretching and compressing them on the other. So we're just going to give our digestive organs a little massage here. Now with a twist. Right hand across the front. Left hand behind the back. Then switch. Left hand across by the face. Right hand pressing behind the back. And each time we twist, the palms are as though they were pressing on two opposing walls. Look, we're trying to push the walls away. We use this to wring out the spine, the shoulders, the neck, and of course, the waist and internal organs. Inhale center and exhale into the twist. Inhale center, let's come back, relax, very nice. This next one, take your one hand on the upper abdomen, other hand on the lower, doesn't matter which, and just start to shift your rib cage left and right. Again, giving our digestive organs a little massage here. Shifting left and right, notice we're not leaning. Then we're gonna turn that into a circle going back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, and it's like our Pelvis is a cauldron, and we're stirring the cauldron using the rib cage here. A 
I'm gonna go the other direction. Notice how what I'm really trying to do here is keep my legs, hips, pelvis all stationary as much as possible. I'm really trying to generate almost all the movement in the rib cage, so above the waist. Great one for the lower back as well. Come back to the center. We'll do the opposite now, keeping the ribs in one spot. Start to shift your pelvis left and right, and forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. Now the pelvis moves. We try to keep the ribs and shoulders stationary. This one's a little harder to keep still because your ribs and shoulders are just floating in the air now. It's a lot easier to keep the lower body stationary because you have the ground as a reference point. Let's go the other direction. Still just breathing naturally through the nose. Try to breathe through the nose as much as possible, not just in Qigong practice, but outside of it in our daily life, even when possible during vigorous exercise. Start to tap over the belly with the light fists now. I'm gonna give the intestines a little stimulation. Just break up any stagnation. Come up to the upper abdomen, solar plexus, earth center. Often a little more tender here because we're actually touching the part where the liver is not protected by the ribs. Then come over to one side. If you're on your left here, then you're tapping on the stomach area. A lot of people hold their belly and say, oh, my stomach hurts, but really this is where your stomach is, on the left side of the ribs. Then come over to the right side of your ribs and tap over your liver, which sits under the right front ribs. Back to the center. Now we're gonna go in a circle, but I'm gonna ask you to go the opposite direction of me. So go clockwise on your belly. So you're gonna go up your right side, down your left side, so you're not mirroring me anymore. And this follows the flow of the large intestine, which is very good for relieving constipation. But if you have any loose bowels, you might actually want to go the opposite to the flow of the intestine to slow it down. Go back to your lower abdomen, find your breath. Feel maybe that buzzing in the belly, and that energy we stimulated. release. All right, we're going to start to enter just some gentle flowing movements. This one we're going to press down with the left hand, up with the right. Circle the right down and the left up. Come in by the shoulders and then reverse. Left hand presses up to the sky, right hand down to the earth. Circle around. Come back in by the shoulders, take a breath in. And then exhale, push up and down. Inhale, circle around and in. This is another variation of separating heaven and earth. And on this one, we go very gently. We're not looking for that side body stretch like we were before. It's just a gentle flow to circulate this subtle force we call chi through the body. This one is meant to affect the spleen and stomach channels. Spleen sending the chi up to the lungs to circulate through the body. The stomach sending the chi downwards to the earth to remove waste and impurities. So here we balance the spleen and stomach chi, the rising and falling of chi. Exhale as we push, breathing through the nose. Inhale as we circle. Find slow breath. You can even go slower than me if it helps. Let's drop the hands down, and from the solar plexus, palms face down, they'll float forward, out, and then gather back in towards the upper ab abdomen. Push the hands out, drop your hips back a little, and then stand back tall as the hands come back to your earth center. Exhale, push forward, sink back. Inhale, gather back. Standing taller. Oh, 
long, slow breaths are the name of the game in Qigong flow. We calm the nerves. Drop out of our everyday stressed out energy states. We come here into a state where the energy is more stable, stronger at our center, this core area of the body. This type of energy that we refer to as earth type energy because of its stabilizing and centering effect. You can think like you're moving as slowly as the tectonic plates of the earth, those continental plates that shift just a millimeter or so every year. The earth is taking its time geological time, going no place in a hurry. Find that unhurried, slow state here. No matter how much your mind resists, enter the flow, super slow. Bring the hands in and stop all together with the palms face down, just above the solar plexus. Send your left foot backwards for a staggered bow and arrow stance. Reach your hands forward, bring them out to the left and back in by the belly. Circle around the upper abdomen. Forwards, around to the left. We shift the weight back to the left leg. Bring the hands into the belly. Shift the weight forward into the front leg. Hands go forward. Shifting the weight backwards and forwards, turning a little at the hips and waist. Moving the hands in this kidney bean shape. Inhaling as we circle wide around. Exhaling as we do a half circle around the waist. Inhale wide around, shifting back. Exhale, hands in close, shifting forward. Feet should be about shoulder width apart and about an equal length in your stance too. Your stance might be a little longer than it is wide, but it should still be wide. So if you look at your feet and see you're standing on a tightrope and they're not wide enough. Come back to shoulder width, uh, feet right next to each other. Standing with the palms face down again at the earth center. And step back with your right foot. Shift forward, hands forward. Shift back, hands go out and around to your right. Pull into the belly. Shift and turn left, shifting forward. Hands out and around, shifting back. Hands in, shift forward, exhale. Shift back, inhale. Forward, exhale through the nose. Back, inhale. This one is called Monk Grinding Rice. Called that because it brings the energy to the digestion. And again, digestion is synonymous with emotional and mental qualities of centeredness and stability in Qigong. Bring the hands back above the earth center, feet back, shoulder width, using the palms to direct the chi into this region. Drop the hands down, palms face up, one stacked over the other under the lower dantian. Circle the right hand up to the forehead, down the center line, and that palm will come face up under the lower abdomen. Left hand circles around to the forehead, drops down to the center. Inhale as you circle up. Exhale as you draw it down. 
Inhale, half circle. Exhale down. This one's just called centering. It's helping the energy we've gathered to sink so that some of it stores in the lower Dantian, we sometimes call the water center. Water element representing the phase of our chi that stores, consolidates. Refill those reserves. Let the energy sink through you. Still slow, deep breaths. Always through the nose, unless we say otherwise in Qigong. Slow, deep breaths. And then let's fold both hands over this lower abdominal region, the Dantian, the water center. Drop your awareness here and just watch the breath. Don't even ask the breath to change in any way. Just notice even the tiniest ripple of movement from the breath in the lower abdomen. And we're going to slowly circle the entire abdomen, circling between upper and lower, just helping this energy to weave its way through these internal organs, the digestive tract, and center it at the lower dantian. Bring your hands to prayer and just set a little intention, feel the energy you've cultivated. Think about how you might keep that energy alive throughout your day, or use that energy towards something good. Perhaps vowing to worry less and spend more time centered. Anytime you're ready, let it release with a big sigh. Hope you enjoyed that practice. If you like my videos, hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really love my offerings, you might like to spend 12 weeks with me doing live training sessions on the weekends watching my lectures, using my training videos in my 12-week online Qigong teacher training. The live portion's 12 weeks, but you get lifetime access to all the materials in this course, which is quite a bit of material, as well as meeting lots of other Qigongers around the world in this program. We do the live streams on Zoom, and you'll get to chat and ask questions. And you also get a couple one-on-one -on -one sessions with me privately. So maybe I'll see you there sometime otherwise. Thanks so much for joining me for this Qigong for late summer, another part of my seasonal Qigong series. Look out for my Qigong for fall coming out uh, this fall 2022 here on YouTube as well. Hope to see you soon.